Previously on Lime Mumps. Hello, Suresh. Look, just go back to your rich husband and leave us alone. I came because I want her to know the truth about her mother. And I told her her mother died. You what? I moved for Che Lian to be removed as PTA president. As an elite school, Charleston cannot have someone who is labelled as a monster mom to lead the PTA. You say child abuse. I say it's discipline. You say disreputable. I say my reputation speaks for itself. I say we hold a secret vote to decide on whether we should keep Mrs. Lian as PTA president. You can vote me out, but I will not step down. Mrs. Yip, this is quite frankly the most outrageous request I've ever heard in all my years as a principal. Mrs. Cole, I'm asking you in my capacity as the interim PTA president to do what is best for Charleston. Mrs. Yip, it is Mrs. Lian's right to discipline her children however she deems fit. We can only advise other methods of disciplining. I cannot expel her children because of that reason, especially when they're model students. The apple doesn't fall far from the tree, Mrs. Cole. I heard that Margaret Lian threatened to slap Cassandra Go. That girl is following in her mother's footsteps. And then her eldest son, Winston Lian. Can you imagine the hate prefect of Charleston slapping somebody just because they provoked him? Letting him stay on as a hate prefect is like a time bomb waiting to go off. Mrs. Yip, Winston has shown nothing but exemplary behaviour. I cannot give way to these unsubstantiated rumours. In fact, we should never punish children for their parents' misdemeanours. And that is something I am sure you will understand. Now, if you'll excuse me, my next meeting is right here. Fine! I'll start my own petition campaign to expel the Lians from Charleston. Then I'll show you how many parents support me. By the way, Charleston is an elite school. The students should represent the creme de la creme of Singapore, not the offspring of some crazy woman. Okay, Jason? I'm fine. Just carry on. 13-6, right? Yeah. Your smash was out. Myself. Suresh, it's Rani. I accept your terms. So when can I see Sushila? Come on. All right. Bye bye. Have fun in school. Hey, bye. Okay. Bye, mommy. Bye. Bye bye. And then what happened? 
And then we decided to get our party certification. We wanted to get it ages ago, but I got pregnant with Nabila. So things are very so good now? Well, we didn't really get to talk so much about baby number two issue. Mm, too busy making baby number two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> was it fun? It was so fun. <laughs> uh, ladies, I need your signatures, please. What kind of nonsense is this? To expel the aliens from the school. Chelian has already been on the receiving end of so much anonymous abuse. This is unnecessary harassment. Oh, I forgot. You two are fans of the monster mom. Hey, how would you feel if I were to go around calling you a loser mom, huh? Well, loser is still better than monster. Anyway, I don't need your signatures anymore. There are many parents out there who are more than willing to sign. Sign the petition to expel the lien! Crazy? I think so. Sign the petition to expel the liens. Hi, would you like to sign the petition? Maybe you three shouldn't go to school today. Mommy, I have an important higher Chinese revision session today. I have a group discussion that I need to present today. Mommy, I'm going to be late. Thank you. Sign the petition to expel the liens. Mommy, you'll be fine. What's that to be afraid of? See you later. Okay. Look at them. Heads up, facing the challenge head on. I feel like I'm getting schooled. Sign the petition to expel the liens! That's enough. Hey! Those kids don't need to see you doing this to them. Talk about kicking someone when they're down. You know, I would love to see her ask Chilean to sign this. You know, since the whole dark swing incident, Chilean hasn't really hung out here. Mm -hmm. See that? Impressive, right? Who is he? Well, his name is Thomas Lee. Bishan Independent just offered him a full scholarship last month, and he'll be playing for their team in the upcoming semi finals of the inter school tournament against Charleston. If I penalize his game. And I believe you are our best bet to beating him. You've got better net control, you're quicker. That's your advantages. By the way, how's the ankle, Jason? Uh, it's fine. Good. I just want you to know that we're all counting on you to deliver your match. Oh, I work on your smashes. That's another key to beating him. Jason, if you beat this boy, all those DSA selectors will be falling over themselves to try to get you to play for their teams. You ready? Yeah. Okay, go warm up. So how's school? Good. Do you have any homework today? Mm, yeah. J Jason? What happened to your foot? <laughs> it's nothing. My ankle's just a little sore. I don't think you can walk home like that. Let me drop you off. <laughs> no, Auntie, it's okay. Jason, when are you going to come over my house again? I got a new jigsaw puzzle. Once the tournaments are over. <laughs> Jason! It's okay. No, it's not okay until the doctor says it's okay. Come, let's go. Slowly. Sushi. 
that someone is here to talk to her about her mother. You would still sit in on their meeting, right? Of course. Jason, the doctor was very clear. You need to rest for at least three days before you go back to any activity. Alright? And you need to ice your ankle every day. I understand, Auntie Do. Thanks for taking me to the doctor. Jason, you were in pain. What were you thinking? I guess it was worse than I thought. John, can you please make sure he gets his rest and that he doesn't train for the next few days? Yes, Mrs. Jason. Hey, I'm gonna go, all right? You call me if you need anything? Jason, what's this? Congratulations on being nominated to interim PTA president. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, I didn't want to do the job. But ever since Che got kicked out, Nobody else wanted to take it up. I still can't believe it's her in that video. I know, right? I've seen her kill her children in public before. But what she did to her daughter in the video... You know, uh, I think she might be mentally disturbed. But she seems so together at school. <laughs> so calm and collected. What can I say? Looks can be deceiving. Huh? Mm. Anyway, that is why I've decided to start a petition to get the Lians expelled from Charleston. Oh? Seems extreme, don't you think? Well, as PTA president, I need to do what is best for the school. And having the Lians around is just bad. Bad! Hey, all prefects are supposed to be at the hall helping Mr. Tong arrange the tables for this afternoon's function. What are all of you doing here? You always make us show up. In the end, we end up doing nothing, wasting our time. What I want there. So get moving. The new temporary PTA president, Mrs. Ip, is trying to get you and your sisters expelled from Charleston. If that happens, I'll be next in line. You should be nicer to me, Minister. Everyone, to the hall. Now! Okay, okay. Don't slap me. Minnie, Zaf can't do Sunday, so you have to come in. Really? Zaf told me she prefers to do Sundays because on weekdays, she has to take a month for rehab. Well, I was looking at the roster and I noticed that you've hardly done any Sundays. That seems a bit unfair to the staff members. All staff sit down at the start of the month and agree to the roster amongst us. I don't do Sundays unless it's an emergency because that's when I have a full day with Kai. Ooh, but guess what? The roster is actually something that the store manager actually gets to decide. It's in my job description I checked. You can start this week. You're just punishing me for going to Mr. Lee. Don't be ridiculous. I'm just trying to be fair to everyone. If you're not happy, you can just quit. Hey, Jason. I've been meaning to call you. How's the ankle? Oh, uh, it's better, Coach. Well, I need you to come back to training. What did the doctor say? Oh, he just said to rest it for a few more days. Are you going to be OK in time for the tournament? If not, I have to think about who could replace no, you. No, Coach. I want to play on the team. I can play. I like your dedication and your spirit, Jason. Now, get back to training as soon as you can. We really need you to be ready to face Thomas Lee, yeah? Yes, coach. All right. Monster, go! What's wrong with you? My mommy says I must not get too near you. 
You must slap me. Why would I slap you? Because your mommy slaps you. She's the monster mom. What are you talking about? Cristiano, I thought I saw your mommy waving for you on the other side. But she always picks me up here. Well, maybe she got distracted by all the petitioning. But then, mommy would have caught me. Uh, come along now, Cristiano. Let's go find your mom. Okay, let's go have burgers and fries today. But mommy doesn't allow us to eat that only on special occasions. Well, she told me to take all of you out for lunch and I said burgers and fries. I'll let her know later. I like your mommy. Alright, let's go. Who have you been holding up? Has anyone been giving you a hard time in school? It's nothing I can't handle. Um, how are things with your mom? Um, Winston, can you go and check in on the kids? Margaret, are you still angry with your mom? Yes. But all these people attacking her online, saying mean things about her, calling her monster mom, that makes me even more angry. She's my mother. She can slap me, I can hate her. But other people should leave her alone. Margaret, you need to believe me when I tell you that your mother, she really does regret she did. Then why doesn't she say sorry? Sometimes, mummies, we know we're wrong. But we just find it hard to say it. I don't like saying sorry either. But mummy always makes me say it when I'm wrong. To be fair, your mummy, she's usually right. So, when she's wrong, maybe she finds it hard to admit it. I made her angry when I broke the GP project. I didn't say sorry for that. Maybe I should. Hey, you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who is wrong, who is right, or who should be the one saying sorry. Your mommy, she loves you. All of you. And right now, she needs to know that you love her too. Right? Hi, Miss Hope. What exactly are you holding out for? If you don't tell me what you want, I can't make you an offer you can't refuse. Mr. Chang. Chong Ming. Call me Chong Meng. I'm very flattered. I mean, for someone like you to offer me a job, it's incredible. So why are you not taking it? Well, I have a son. And I have a dog? No. What I mean is that right now in my life, I need job security. You know, I have monthly bills, commitments. Where do you match your salary and your benefits? Anything else? Mr. Chong Meng. Are you like this with everyone you try to hire? No. Just the ones I want to chase a dream with. And so, how often does an offer like this come along? Think about it. Winston, there's a letter for you and I've put it on your desk. Thank you, Mummy. I hope you didn't take too much junk food, Hilary. I've prepared your favourite sweet and sour pot for dinner. Thank you, Mummy. And your favourite roasted chicken, Margaret.
you, mommy. Sorry, I broke the project, mommy. Uh, Margaret, you were right about the Malayan. Your idea on the VR and the augmented reality, it would have really stood out. It was a good idea. I'm sorry, mommy. But I, I still want to leave GP. I know you have high expectations, but I will keep my violin for DSA and, and I promise. Trust me, I won't let you down. Margaret, as long as you understand that everything I do because I love you. And I want you to be all that you can be. Mommy, Auntie Du and Auntie Minnie, they're nice. Yeah. Okay, homework time. You have wasted lots of time on your burgers. And I want all homework to be done by... By dinner time. Mommy, you don't have to keep telling us. We know. Dad, are you still angry with me over the shirt? What? We've been eating for 20 minutes and usually you're finished and you're yelling at me for being slow. Sushi, you remember the lady who came to our apartment the other day? Uh-huh. She was your mother's best friend. She doesn't know what happened to mom, that she died, right? She does. She wants to meet you, to tell you about mom. What does she know about mom that you don't know? They were best friends, so I guess... I don't know. I mean, you don't have to meet if you don't want to. Dad. She's mom's best friend. John, I'm going to school. I prefer duty. Sign the petition to expel the Lians. Sign the petition to expel the Lians. Uh, uh, running late, maybe tomorrow. Are you planning on asking me for my signature, Mrs. Yip? So, you finally dare to show your face at Charleston? 
here to withdraw your little monsters from the school? I'm here to tell you that you can collect as many signatures as you want. My children will not be going anywhere but Charleston. <clears throat> For your information, Serafina, you can't just expel someone because you don't like them. This is Singapore. We have rules. I see you two have decided to throw your lot in with her. Oh, this isn't about taking sides. This is about taking a stand. Against bullying. Eh, hey, watch your mouth, ah. Or I'll throw your children out of Charleston too. <laughs> I hope you're prepared to go to court then. And I look forward to the day that you lose and have to pay my fees. Are you threatening me? Absolutely. Absolutely. And one more time, you use the phrase monster mom or momster in public, you'll get a letter from Chilean's lawyer. Durani Maslan and Associates. I am the PTA president. Don't underestimate me. <laughs> I think that's the end of her little petition campaign. Mm -hmm. Thank you, guys. Oh, don't thank me yet. My loyalty comes at a price. Mm -hmm. Coffee. <laughs> sure. Anyway, I have something to discuss with both of you. I received a letter from Methodist Boys yesterday. The audition before the real thing. Methodist Boys is not instant high, but it's still an IP school. Lots of people still want to get in there. I have to ace it, even though it's not my first choice. Oh, how's your ankle? Oh, uh, it's a lot better, which is good because I really need to get back to training. Coach Kim thinks I have a good chance of impressing the DSA selectors if I beat this Malaysian player from Bishan. Nice. I still have to meet the cutoff point, though. Midterms are okay, right? Uh, yeah, I'm just a few points off from the cutoff. Well, once you win that medal, concentrate on the studies. Just keep your focus, you know. Your idea of dealing with that video is to make another video? Oh. What am I missing? People should hear my sad story before making a decision about me, my children. Well, what are you going to say? I haven't thought about it yet. Maybe I should speak from the heart. You know, this could open a brand new can of worms. Or it could win her some understanding. Look, there isn't any single mum out there who hasn't for a moment lost it. it well, it hasn't happened with me and Nabila yet, but I know all you need is that perfect stop. What about the doxing, though? Are you prepared to eat pizza for dinner for the next few days? That's a chance I'll have to take. It's better than sitting around and letting people punish me and my children. Right? Hi, Joan. What? Jason, why are you still training? Hi, Coach, I'm Mrs. Reza. Jason is under my care while the parents are not around. Why is Jason training so soon after his injury? Why do you call him for training? He needs to rest. Uh, Auntie Du, it's not Coach's fault. I wanted to play. I thought I was okay. Uh, Coach, I don't think he should be training this weekend too. I know the tournament is important, but he can't play like this. I'm afraid Mrs. Reza is right, Jason. There's absolutely no point in you aggravating your ankle. I need you to be fit for the game against Bishan Independent. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Reza. I'll make sure he gets his rest. Come, let's go. Get your back. Okay, 
so this is your room. You'll be staying here for the weekend. It's the only way I can ensure you're not up to mischief. Uncle Reza will go pick up your clothes from June later on, okay? So, is this okay? Jason, you're staying over! Only for a few days. And no running around with Jason because he needs to make sure his ankle gets better. Can we play chess together? Yes, you can play chess together, but shower first, okay? After that, you can play chess and then homework. And you too, Jason, yeah? Thank you, Auntie Do. Oh, you're early. Have you changed your mind? No, but I thought I should let you know that I told Sushila you were her mother's best friend. I'll keep that in mind. I also told her that her mom died serving with Doctors Without Borders. I appreciate you telling me all this and I'll make sure Sushila understands that you were doing all this to protect her. If you could do the same... You agreed to this meeting. You knew what I wanted to say to her. Yes. And I'm asking you one last time to reconsider for the sake of... our daughter. I know what I'm doing. Health insurance? Yes. Extends to family members? I don't think so. We are start up, so calls are tight. What about flexibility of time? Totally, as long as you get your work done. You were such a cute baby. And very talkative. A little grumpy, but beautiful. Do you have any photos of my mom with me? Yeah. Sushi. About your mother. Dad said she loved helping people. That's why she went to Afghanistan. Do you have any pictures of her there in Afghanistan? Uh. I don't think so. I used to wonder why my mom left me when I was just three. Then I read about the humanitarian efforts in Afghanistan. I kind of understood. She must have really felt they needed her to leave me and dad. I'm the only person in school whose mom is a hero. Do you know that? At least she's a hero in my heart. Because she gave up me, my dad, and her life to help others. Yeah. She was a wonderful person, really. Can you tell me more about her, please? She was... Rani? Thank you. Mingyi told me that you stuck my story about what happened. She was so full of admiration and love for the mother you told her about. A selfless person who joined Doctors Without Borders. The woman who died in the field Serving others. How could the truth ever measure up to that? 
could you send me photos of her once in a while? Important ones. PSLE, first day at secondary school, birthdays. Thank you. Maybe. Maybe one day I'll check out. I'm just a boy, he said, in need of a role model. But just one more, they said, as they arrived at the bottom of the bottle. A loaded gun to my head, so I'm a little afraid to say. Uh, it's my opponent for the upcoming match. Can I see? Yeah. Wow, he's so good. Yeah. Is that why you're practicing so hard even though your ankle hurts? I need to win that medal, Nabila. But what if you don't? My mom's expecting me to win. I don't want to disappoint her. But she will still love you even if you don't win, right? You don't understand. Understand what? PSLE, DSA, getting to the right school, being good at everything. But you are good at everything. Are, are you on your break? Let's watch a cartoon. Winston, we enjoyed chatting with you. We just have one last question. This is about the video involving your mother. A little to your left, mommy. Ready? Yes. Recording. It's been my dream since I was P1 to go to Instant High. All I've ever wanted for my children is for them to succeed. You've all probably seen the video. Of me slapping my daughter, Margaret. A mother has high expectations of us. She expects us to give her all. In the way she gives her all as our mother. I'm guilty of many things. Being too fast to judge my daughter's action. But who she is, is not who I am. Judge me all you want. Judge me on my achievements and my abilities. But please. But please. Leave my mother out of it. Leave my children out of it. Hey, Jason. So, I called the doctor and he said you can come see him tomorrow after school. That's great. I feel a lot better after seeing the week continue. <laughs> Look, Jason, if the doctor says that you need to rest for a few more days, maybe you can tell Coach Kim that you can't play. I have to play. But you do need the badminton DSA. I need the medal. Your grades are strong enough, Jason. Remember, badminton DSA is just the insurance. But what if my grades don't stay up? Don't be silly, Jason. You're a smart boy and you work so hard. 
I've been watching you all weekend and if Nabila is as focused, determined and disciplined as you are when she's in P5, I'll be over the moon. Look, whatever the challenges, I'm sure you'll sail through it. Have more confidence in yourself, okay? Do you want to stay here for a few more days? I think I should head back tomorrow. Joan will miss me. Are you sure? Okay. Look, um, Arena is coming over and she wants to bring Nabila to the mall. Do you want to go? I think I'll stay home and study. Sure. I have a high Chinese test this week. Okay. I won't disturb you then. Ask me about you. It will be fine, Winston. We are going to be all right. I promise. to judge my daughter's action, being too fearful that they will not be able to succeed in this system. Minyi, can you take these documents to the vendors and uh, mail this out to the post office? Oh, uh, can you take those plastic covers from HQ after that? Oh, we have a dispatch to deal with those things. It's urgent. I can't wait for them to come here. Oof. This is your personal stuff. Now, now, Minyi, let's not be calculative. How am I supposed to run the store when I have to worry about my personal errands, right? You really want me to quit, don't you? Don't be absurd. Who will do the stock take? And the other menial tasks around the store? Miss City was right about you. You are very useful. And I plan to make very good use of you going forward. I suggest you start figuring out how to do stock take yourself, Stephanie. Because I won't be around to do it for you. I quit. But you need this job. That's why you went to Mr. Lee, right? Don't worry. I'll be sure to let Mr. Lee know that this time, I want to go. Toming? I'm in. Judge me all you like, but please, leave my children out of it. Wow, look at the comments. I know, look at this. I know how you feel. It happened to me too. No mother is perfect. You are a brave woman. Well, hopefully that puts an end to everything. For someone who just quit her job to join a startup, you're cheery. I know. It's weird. I know I should be scared. I mean, he's promised to try to match my benefits at the boutique, but nothing except the salary is in black and white. But it's liberating. I feel like I just gained courage, just by letting go of the fear. <laughs> Hello, mommies. Hey. <laughs> Look, your video's viral. I just want people to hear my side, that's all. Margaret helped you do it. Oh. Me, I hope you don't mind, but I've added you to our WhatsApp group. Oh. But 
But Kai isn't in the same class as Hillary and Abila. I thought it would make it easier for us to coordinate coffee and study day. Well, I gotta warn you though. Minyi, she has a habit of replying only with emojis. <laughs> Fine, now that I'm unemployed, I'll take my time and type out full proper sentences. What happened? Tell you over coffee. Thank you later.